Now, your television show, which, for which you won an Emmy, I happen to be there when you won. I want to play, right. I want to ask you about something because yeah. when you won the Emmy, mm. Keith for Sutherland was the one who presented it. And he, this is how he pronounced your name, which is, <laughs> and correct me if I have this incorrect, Tatiana Maslani. Very good. And the Emmy goes to Tatiana Maslani. <laughs> I was like, I think it's me. Um, he's Canadian. He's too. a fellow Canadian. And, and he said it in the voiceover before, where it's like, Tatiana Maslany, like nominated for an Emmy. Like, Did you have you spoken to him about that? I won't talk to you him. You will not no, talk no. to him. No. <laughs> he didn't contact you John Travolta style afterwards and say, sorry, I just I don't it. know what came up over no, me. No, no, no. Oh wow. I know. Come on, Wow, Keeper. things are going terribly for you here. It's really bad. In LA. Life sucks <laughs> in LA. Are you, um, your show, now, you, have you finished uh, shooting the whole show? Yeah, we finished two months ago. Okay. We wrapped it up. And so you play so many characters on the, sh characters on the show, which seems yeah. like, obviously, is a fun thing as an actor, yeah. but at that, at a certain point, will you, will you, like, do you miss it, or are you like, all right, enough already with this? I mean, I was exhausted by you the were, end yeah. of it. But, but saying goodbye, because we kind of had, like, two weeks where we were wrapping either a clone a day or a character, a supporting character, or a set or whatever. And these are people who you like get to know for five seasons and you really care about them. And I was so emotional that two weeks I was just like. You really care about your clones? Yeah, I care, I care deeply about all my clones. <laughs> That's very I wonder sweet. what they're doing right now. Are they okay? Um, they didn't make the move with yeah, you, Yeah, no, huh? they, they stayed in Canada. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I had such a visceral reaction to saying goodbye to one of them. And we were doing this like scene that's a Skype call, and it was quite emotional as it is, so I could kind of use what was happening. Um, and I just uh, had a spontaneous nosebleed while I was sobbing. Really? Yeah, it was so gross. Oh. It was so the, the director's like, cut. And I'm like, stop, no, can't we use this? Like, yeah. let's use it. A lot like, of actors can cry sense. on command. Very few <laughs> actors can make their nose bleed on bleed command. On command. <laughs> that's like a special level. <laughs> I think it's like you, reason. Meryl Streep, <laughs> maybe like Sir Alec Guinness could do that kind right. of thing. Yeah, but the three of us. Is yeah. that something that happens to you regularly, nosebleeds? In like times of trauma. Really? Yeah, in stressful times. <laughs> Your nose bleeds. I think like, yeah, breakups sometimes will elicit that response. Wow. When you all screwed up your mood. <laughs> yeah, I just shot blood at them from my nose. <laughs> They're like, sorry, we won't Well, do. on behalf of Los Angeles and America, we welcome you and Thank your you. boyfriend and your sheep. Orson Black, Saturday nights at 10 on BBC America. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.